everybody, my name is Avian Says, and welcome back to my channel. We did a makeup video today, as you can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. You guys can see exactly what I did to get this going on. Okay, enjoy. Today, the look we're doing is based off of this eyeshadow by Shiro Cosmetics. It's called Thunderbolt. It was from a Pokemon collection. Shiro Cosmetics is super cool in the fact that it's all kind of nerd-based makeup. So they have like a Legend of Zelda collection, they have a Lord of the Rings collection, a Harry Potter. It might be Harry Potter, not Lord of the Rings. But they had a Pokemon collection. And although I've never seen Pokemon, I know of it. <laughs> and I thought this was a cool color. So we're gonna be using this one today along with some other random things. And we're gonna get into it. So I always start out with this Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Um, I don't really care for the fibers, but this is a nice eyebrow filler because it makes things still look natural while actually giving color and depth to your eyebrows. This helps me a lot when my eyebrows lose some of the dye and get more blonde. Still makes it look like I have dark eyebrows without making them look really blocky and fake. So we're just gonna fill it in. I tend to start by going against the grain so that I can get it all the way down to the roots and then I flatten it out going the other way. I have much thinner eyebrows in the corners here. So I give them a little extra attention, trying to get some of the fibers in there, and then combing it out. I already did this one. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I do my eyebrows. And then, you know, it's not the cleanest, since they're, it's kind of a fluffy brush, stuff gets everywhere, so we're just gonna take a Q-tip with a little bit of water on it, and just clean up the edges. Trying not to get too close because we don't want to ruin it, but close enough so that we have nice, fleek eyebrows. And then we move on. Next, we're gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. It's the only primer I own, so when we get to foundation later and you think, why should I wear a primer? It's because I don't own it. However, I just today bit the bullet and bought some. <laughs> So in like two and a half weeks, because of all the shipping delays, once all the delays are over, my order will come in. I'm getting a highlighter palette with some contour on it so we can do some fancy stuff in there. And then I got some primer, some fancy eyeshadow. So y'all can stop worrying about my foreskin because I don't know why, I just never ever bought primer for my foundation and then <laughs> recently I was, you know, doing my makeup and I kept noticing that while the foundation would kind of stick because Ilya is pretty good, I still would end up having kind of creasing and it coming off in some areas and then I realized it's probably because I don't use primer and so I started to think about where I could get primer and then I found one that I liked but it was expensive. But if we're ever gonna get good at makeup here, we need to invest in some good practices. So I bought some foundation primer and now we're going to move on to eyeshadow, I guess. We're gonna be using this Thunderbolt by Shiro Cosmetics. It's like a nice yellow, bright yellow um, eyeshadow. It's a loose eyeshadow. It's actually like, I don't know if you can see. It moves around in there. So we have to be careful or it will go everywhere. So we're gonna use this brush that I used in my maroon eyes makeup video. Um, it's just kind of a nice flat edge while still being able to pick up a lot of color. So I'm just gonna very carefully open this so I don't get eyeshadow everywhere. It's very like sparkly. I think Thunderbolt is the perfect name for this eyeshadow because it's, it looks like thunder. I mean, <laughs> forgot you can't see thunder. It looks like lightning. It looks like Pikachu, which is the way it's supposed to be. 
So I'm gonna use a tissue here because I want a kind of clean line going underneath my eye. And some people use tape, but when you have eczema under your eyes, that's not a super option. So I wanna hold it multiple points because the shadow will drop down underneath it if you're not really holding it flush against your eye. So I'm just gonna hold this here Try to make sure I have a nice tight hold on it. And then I'm gonna pick up some eyeshadow. I really don't remember how pigmented this is, so I guess we're gonna find out together. I'm just gonna, ooh, I'm not holding this tight enough. Oh my God, it's in my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna go all along this line. It's not mega pigmented, but it's it's yellow. I was ever so lucky, oh, it's in my eye, to be able to finally buy a Conspiracy palette, which is so exciting because I really wanted it. And it's not gonna be here for like a while, but at least I'll be able to do all sorts of fun looks later. So I'm just gonna put it in the corner of my eye too. We want to go up only a little bit onto our eyelid. I don't want this all over my eyelid. Just a little bit, kind of coming out of the crease here. Okay, we only really want it going about that far. Now I'm just trying to go back in and make sure it's still really pigmented. Because we want it to be visible. My eye looks so weird. It's kind of like putting on white eyeshadow where it just kind of changes the way everything looks. This isn't the best brush for getting in the corner here, but it's all right. All right, and then we take it off. <laughs> it looks really weird, but don't worry. We're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. That's about right. Pick up some makeup here. I'm literally just like, gently tapping in the powder and then tapping it off in the lid so that I don't get a ton of fallout. But that's what the napkin's for too, to protect us from fallout. Even though we're already in fallout with this freaking quarantine. Get it? Gamer <laughs> jokes. Spoiler alert, I've never played fallout before. So I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay, right? We're just kind of gonna guess the length that the other one is. I'm not really gonna compare or anything. Let me get it in the corner. So if you're not looking completely <laughs> like an alien at this point, you've done something wrong. I'm just gonna pat in a little bit more color here. After I get this patted in, we're gonna add a couple other colors that I didn't add last time. So I'm gonna use this Bitsy Metallic Eyeshadow. It's completely broken. Don't hate me. I don't know what happened to it, but it's just, it's pretty much straight up gold. <laughs> There's makeup in my eye. I'm gonna take this brush. This is typically the brush that I use when I want to get in the corners of my eyes because it's just a good shape like that. This is so broken. Yikes. We're just gonna tap into this a little bit. Maybe I should put this on after eyeliner, but I guess we can always reapply after. I'm just gonna poke it into the corners of my eyes. It's really, really gold. So I guess we're going more like a Raichu color here. Oh, look at all that fallout, holy smokes. We're going to have to use a little bit of makeup remover after this to correct that. This is what happens when you are not a professional. Oh, it looks so bad, but it's okay. Cause it's gonna look better in just a minute. Pfft, don't worry. There's makeup everywhere. <laughs> okay, and then to tie it together on the top, I'm going to go in with my favorite, Urban Decay, Space Cowboy. It's 
the greatest and I love it. I'm actually just gonna use my finger because that's the easiest way to pick up sparkles without anything else. I'm just gonna pat it on my eyelid. Trying to gently kind of blend it in here. This is so much more complicated than I did it last time. Maybe I'll do it easier one next time. I am almost done here. Trying to get it out on that wing without ruining it. Okay. So as you can see, we look insane. It's so cute. We love an insane look. I'm gonna take a cotton pad and remove some of this fallout before I do anything else. Cause it's getting in my eyes. This is pretty much how I always go about cleaning up fallout. And it especially doesn't matter because um, I don't wear primer right now or foundation before I do my eyes at all for this very reason. Okay, so we're done with the eyeshadow part for now. We're gonna go in with our eyeshadow by L'Oreal. Blackest Black Infallible 24 Hour Eyeliner. We're gonna use the little brush that comes with it. We're gonna go about it. You already have seen me do my eyeliner in that last video, so if you're curious, you can go look at that. I'm gonna do it a little bit different today because we're going for a thinner look. Um, I want this to be really, really sharp because that's how it looked last time. I used to do my eyeliner more cat eye style until I started hating that style. Um, but we're kind of going to go more for that today. So we're going to come here. Oh, all right. I literally can't see in the mirror. <laughs> because I noticed while I was editing this whole thing that it's really uncomfortable to watch someone touch a brush to their eye. I'm just gonna spare you guys. Okay. It looks so weird. Imagine if I just left it like this. We're gonna do the other eye. Clean up the top a little bit because I made it a little too thick, so we're just gonna go in and fix it. Okay, don't you worry about it. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> I feel like it's somehow worse, but you know what? There's sparkles all <laughs> literally all over my face. We're gonna fill in the tight line. <laughs> okay, I think we're looking pretty good. It's as good as it's gonna get, and now. Time for eyelashes. So these ones I think are like faux minks. I think. Um, I haven't used them for a while. I really can't remember what they are, but we're just gonna glue them on and I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I use this Elevate mascara. It has biotin in it, so it helps your eyelash condition. We're just gonna put a little bit on. I don't know why. I have a habit of starting with my left eye. But here we go, just getting the mascara into the roots, making sure they're all coated and covered while trying not to get it into my eye <laughs> or my hair. I'm just gonna take it and we're gonna put 
to lace it on here. All right, so we just wanna pull it into the corner here. That's kind of my anchor point where I want it to start from. And then we use our tweezers and gently kind of place it into the lash line. And then I'm pushing now to make sure it's touching all along the strip. And there's no spot on here that's not touching my lash line. Okay, while well, that dries, we're gonna put on the other one. So we're just gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna apply the glue. Oh, right, forgot to tell you guys. I mean, y'all know from my last video, this is the glue that I use. It's disgusting. It's called Secure Hold. It is formaldehyde free, which really helps with my sensitivity to adhesive and uh, eyelash glue. I have a lot of problems with regular glue, so this is a good one. And it honestly sticks on your eyelashes like no other. I have to be so gentle when removing stuff because it doesn't work the way, <laughs> you know in those beauty guru makeup videos where they're like, okay, time to get ready for bed and they just pull their eyelashes off. This glue does not work that way. If you do that, you will rip out your eyelashes. So I'm very careful when I go to remove, I coat my whole eye in makeup remover and I let it sit for a couple minutes to dissolve the glue and then I tug gently and if it doesn't come, I put on more makeup remover and I keep doing that until it literally slides off my eye. I don't tug or pull because I will lose eyelashes. I learned that the hard way. So we're gonna put our mascara on the other eye. All right, so that's nice and coated. This is still a little bit wet, so while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and push up this eyelash. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plop this on. Oopsies. Again, for me, when I know it's in the right spot, it's when it's right in the corner on this side and then this will sit where it's supposed to when this edge is taken care of. Okay, so sometimes when you wait a little bit too long for the glue to dry, it doesn't stick as well. And it can be really tough to get the glue back into the corners where it's not sticking because you don't just wanna like blindly glue. So, sorry, this is still a little wet. So we take a little bit of glue and we put it on the inside of the tweezers, tweezers. And then I go in and I put the tweezers underneath it. That way it's for sure along the strip and I won't have to worry about it. I think the other problem too is that sometimes when you don't get the eyeliner in the right spot, the glue trying to grip onto loose eyeshadow does not grip. So we end up with our eyelashes, especially in the inside corners, coming right back off because it's just as like when you put powder on something that's sticky, it becomes unsticky. All right, but this doesn't look too bad. This is about what the look looked like. I actually didn't use to wear eyelashes, so this is a little more fancy than what I used to do. But yeah, this is our Pikachu eye look. Clearly it's not the finished look yet because we still have to do our face. Okay. All right, so clearly, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I still have a ton of glitter all over my face. We're just gonna run with it. We're gonna put this behind our ears. We have a wetted sponge. I use Ilia foundation. It's medium coverage and still good for your skin. Because of my skin condition, I actually spent a lot of time not wearing any face makeup at all. I just kind of gave up because it was frustrating to wear makeup and then take it off every day and my skin would just be so irritated. 
But then I found this, and it's really gentle on your skin. I'm pretty sure it has minerals in it. I'm not positive. But we're just gonna pat it in. <laughs> they didn't have any full coverage in a tone light enough for my skin. <laughs> so this is where we're at. But actually, this is the first foundation really ever that is the perfect shade for my skin. Because I have, my skin is like pink. I have a very pink tone, but it's also yellow. So every time I would buy a pinker foundation, it would be way too pink. And then if I would buy a yellow foundation, it would be way too yellow. And then I finally found this. That's like perfectly right in the middle. I'm just patting it all in, trying to make sure that it's nice and in there. I have a crease here because of a little freckle. So I try to not put a lot of makeup there because it will immediately crease. Of course. Immediate crease. Pat into my nose. I'm not really worrying about under my eyes at the second because we're gonna use concealer. Maybe I'll use some concealer for this too. I like forget that makeup is used to cover blemishes because for the most part, <laughs> I don't have makeup that covers blemishes. I just use it more to even out my skin tone because it's kind of all over the place. All right, I think that's pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna go on with our Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. Oh, and cover up some of our darker spots. I don't, <laughs> anytime I've ever tried to do the whole triangle here, it just cakes on. I've never understood how the beauty community can put so much concealer on their face and it not become cakey. I'm just not good enough at makeup, I guess. I'm just gonna do this with my fingers because that typically tends to do a little better. I wanna get right up along this yellow line so it kind of pops against my skin. Pat in this area. Does anyone have an easier time patting stuff out with their middle finger? I don't know why I do, but then I noticed every time I do it, I was doing it like this. That's just not the best thing to be doing. So I've been trying to pat it in with my other fingers, but I've just found that it's easier with my middle finger. I don't know why. I'm trying to be very careful not to get this on top of the yellow line, especially because if we need to reapply, it's gonna fall out right onto this. And we don't want that. Quite along the edge. I find that, especially with this Ilia foundation, when there's not so much that I'm trying to like hide, it's more of a overall corrector. It goes by really fast. Like I'm never like, okay, here we go into foundation. This is the quickest part. <laughs> the eyes are the hard part. I think we're gonna need to put on a little more yellow. Now we're gonna put on powder. So I have this Revlon Color Stay Translucent Powder. It comes with this little pad in it. We're gonna use it because it's soft and it works well. So the way that I do this, I haven't explained it before, is I kind of rub it off onto the pad so that we have a nice, good amount on here. And then I'm gonna kind of set it aside. I'm gonna pick up my sponge, right? Pad under here. And what we don't wanna do now is look down. We wanna keep looking up. <laughs> we wanna, before we do that, position our hands so that this is in the right spot. So I'm gonna be able to just pat this right in my crease but I already looked down, so we need to pat it out again because that's how you get creases under your eyes. Okay, I know I looked down, but it was already kind of patted out, so we're okay. 
So now that I have a layer on there, I'm gonna put a little bit more right along this line of eyeshadow. Right? Then we're gonna do the other side. We have a ton here. Should we do this thing? Oh. <laughs> I don't know the point of this unless we're using a contour, which we're not. I don't have anything to contour with. So we're just gonna do the other side. Wipe it on there. Put that down. Pat it out. Get ready for it. I don't really care what the shape looks like. It's more about really getting it up in those creases before the concealer can crease. This spot's being kind of tough here. Okay, and then last but not least, you can already see, if you looked close enough, it's creasing here at this freckle. So I have to pat it out. And then we're gonna just pat this into there and hope for the best. Okay, then we'll do this on this side too. Mmm, yes. <laughs> a little thicker on this side. All right, whatever. So we have that. Now we're gonna take this fluffy brush and we're gonna pat it all in. Wiping it all away. <laughs> and then I've gotten into this habit. I don't know why or at what point. I like to spray on my um, setting spray before I do blush and sparkles. I don't know why. I just do. So we're going to take Urban Decay's D Slick. I have oily skin, I have eczema and oily skin. Wrap your head around that. Um, so this helps to really keep everything in place. I'm gonna spray it all over our face. Trying not to get it in our hair because it makes it nasty. All right, so that is dry. Take out that bobby pin, loosen up these hairs. We're gonna put on some blush now. I have decided to use this Mary Kay blush from a long time ago. Um, we're gonna use this brush that has yellow in it now. It's a nice round brush. Couldn't tell you the brand if I wanted to. I'm just gonna pat it in here. I actually have no idea how bright this is gonna be and I'm a little bit afraid. Guess we'll find out. We're just going to pat it onto our cheekbones. Ooh, she's bright. Oh my God, I look crazy. Look like a clown. Cover some of this up a little bit. Blend it out. <laughs> okay, now my favorite part of makeup always, sparkles. Fenty Beauty. I have to be very careful with this because it's a little bit broken. We're using this little brush. We're just gonna pat it around in here and then pat it, same place that people apply highlight. I prefer sparkles versus glitter. I don't like looking oily or sweaty. I don't know if you guys noticed, but 
I have mattified my face as much as possible. I genuinely don't like looking oily. <laughs> I don't care that it's like a, oh, she's glowing. I don't want it. I just don't. We're gonna be using NYX Matte Lip Liner. This is pretty close to the color of lipstick we're gonna be using, so I think it'll be okay. but hopefully it helps the application of my ColourPop matte lipstick be a little easier. enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and a like and a whatever else you gotta do to show me that you like this video leave a comment leave a suggestion if you have any questions feel free to ask I would love to answer them um, and thank you everyone so much for hanging out and sticking around to the end here I know I'm not a professional or anything and I know I have a long way to go with makeup, with video editing, with everything until I'm like good at it. But um, I really appreciate you guys coming along for this ride with me into something that could be really cool. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, bye bye.